Okay, welcome back to another video today. I hope the audio quality is a little bit better than the last one. I see that I over-tuned, over-amplified the microphone, so I hope it's fixed now. Today we're going to talk about the, the wrist flexor, flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor carpi radialis. These are the muscles that flex at the wrist regardless of the fingers. A lot of people have strong finger flexor muscles, but weak wrist flexors, and this is a common cause of Number one, ulnar nerve entrapment that we talked about earlier. It's also a common cause of wrist and elbow pain. This can cause golfer's elbow symptoms, and it often causes elbow, uh, sorry, wrist pain. For example, when bench pressing, pushing against something with your with your hands extended, or even in slight flexion, can certainly cause wrist pain symptoms because of poor stability of of the wrist and of the elbow. So today I'm going to show you an exercise that I've found to be extremely effective for this. Uh, if you're only having wrist or epicondylar pain, you can probably go a little bit harder on this exercise. But as with all entrapment problems, if you're suffering from ulnar entrapment symptoms that worsen with gripping, be a little bit careful with this exercise. All right. So as I already uh, already touched upon, you train these muscles by flexing at the wrist. I recommend that you keep your fingers extended while performing this exercise. I will show you now. Use the armrest on my chair. You extend the fingers. You could use whatever length you want for this. You extend the fingers and you push, you, you put a little bit of body weight on it. You don't put all your weight on it. Put, I don't know, depends on your strength, I guess. Start with 20 pounds. Extend the fingers and push into flexion and I'm pushing in the beginning I'm pushing down as my wrist is becoming vertical I'm pushing this direction guys to maintain that pressure on the flexor muscles and you're going to feel your forearm cramping up when you do this tough exercise you want to put the pressure on the balls of the palm you don't want to put it on the on the on the proximal flange there put it there you can also do deviation ulnar or radial deviation both can i generally just do it straight like this but you can also deviate towards the ulnar side that will target the flexor carpi ulnaris more or you can or you can deviate to the radial side targeting the flexor carpi radialis more so that's the exercise I use for wrist, uh, elbow, and ulnar symptoms. When it comes to the forearm, uh, this will target the flexor carpi ulnaris and radialis muscles. And as I said, you can target, you can specify one more than the other by deviating during the movement to the ulnar or to the radial side. As I said, be careful if you have ulnar symptoms. If you don't, you can probably go a little bit harder. If you get worse from doing the exercise, wait it off completely and do less the next time. If you get pain after uh, bench pressing, I recommend that you do this after you train rather than before because you don't want to exhaust the destabilizing system prior to the heavy exercises. So I hope that makes sense, guys. I hope this was helpful and I wish you all a great day.